The explain command is one of the most important commands you have in your SQL Observability Toolkit. Watch this video to see how you can use it to troubleshoot and optimize query performance. Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and I'm a product manager at Cockwatch Labs. And in this video, we'll show you how to use the explain command to inspect your query plan and find ways to improve query performance. For context, CockroachDB is a relational distributed SQL database with a cost-based query optimizer, where this optimizer selects the best query plans for your workload based off of table statistics and how you design your database schema. Let's dive into a demo to see how you can use the explain command to improve query performance. All right, as you can see here, I've opened up CockroachDB's SQL CLI, connecting to a demo dataset called Mover. We have the following statement we'll be troubleshooting using the explain command, where the statement is currently taking about five milliseconds, and we'd like to see if we can tune in for better query performance. To run explain, all you need to do is prepend the fetting statement with the explain keyword. So let's do that real quick. And with CockroachDB, Explain will render a query plan tree directly in the SQL CLI to help you quickly parse the plan tree. And in this query plan tree, each node in the plan represents a relational operator where results from each operator flows upwards from one node to the next. And to walk through this plan, we can see that the optimizer had decided to do a full scan over the primary index of the rides table, which returns about 500 records. There's a filter over that result set based off of the start time column, returning about 16 rows. And then bubbling up, there is then a hash join with the result set of a full scan over the user's table, specifically the primary index, estimated to be about 50 rows. And in this plan, you can see there's a full scan of the rights table, right? And full scans is something you really want to look out for with CockroachDB, especially full scans that retrieve a relatively large number of rows. This can typically indicate that your query can benefit from a secondary index on a particular table, in this case here, rise. And the action of creating a secondary index will copy the set of columns and sort their values to enable efficient pruning when operating over a subset of rows of that particular table index. And so for this example, we'll be updating the schema of the rides table, specifically on the uh, start time column by creating index, including that column. And this will allow you to uh, have efficient pruning when running that particular query. So let's, let's create an index real quick. And rerunning explain now, you can see that the full scan that we originally had on that riots table is now removed. And we're actually using that riots index, secondary index that we created, where it's only estimated to return 16 rows, right? And so rerunning that query, it now reduced down to three milliseconds here. We hope this quick video was helpful in giving you a jump start in query performance tuning with the explain command. If you would like to learn more about this topic, check out our Cockroach University course online called Query Performance for Developers, or check out our online documentation. You can also join our CockroachDB community Slack if you have any further questions. Thank you for watching. <laughs>